Welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share a recipe for a Heineken beef patty burger. So we make a burger using some beer in the patty. It's gonna be a really great result and we'll show you how we do it. First of all, we take a Heineken beer and uh, we pour up part of it into a small container to just let it sit there and rest for a while before we are going to add it to our meat. And let's get started with the meat, so for the burgers. First of all, we've taken some minced beef and added uh, salt to it. So the salt will help us integrate liquids better because the meat will be able to absorb a lot more of it. We also add freshly ground black pepper. We add an egg, and this egg of course is part of the liquids that we'll add to the patties. We add crushed garlic for great taste. And then we add the beer. So the beer will actually be another liquid part of the patties. We are almost left with a type of meatloaf uh, mince for this recipe. Add in shredded onion as well. Give it all a good mix. This is where we really see that the meat, because of the salt, is able to absorb all of the liquids. Add flour. This will of course help bind everything well together so we get some patties that we can really form into proper um, hamburger patties. So now it's all well mixed and at this stage you could add some smoked paprika or some chipotle pepper if you want to give it a bit of spice. Otherwise we're able to just form the burgers. Just using our hands we form them into patties and it's actually quite easy to form them because it is this meatloaf type of mince. It's uh, soft and flexible. So these are gonna make some really great patties for the burgers, that's for sure. On the side we have just heated up some uh, neutral tasting oil in a pan. So we're going to fry these patties on a hot pan. It's important to give them that nice brown surface on the two sides, so we really recommend to keep the heat not too low. And of course they will need four minutes or so on each side to um, become properly cooked in the middle. We're just flipping the burgers here. What we want to do now is add some cheese on top. So we use mozzarella cheese, a great cheese for this. And we want it to melt nicely on top of each patty. So a good tip for this is to actually pour in, we pour in some of the beer, of course. We, we already use beer in the patties. So pour a little bit of this on the pan and then cover with a lid. It'll make the cheese melt nicely so it still becomes soft and doesn't get hard or anything because there is this steam created underneath the lid. So a really great tip. And of course the taste of beer will also be present in this environment. And as we already added beer to the patty, we are of course not afraid of this taste. You could substitute beer for Maybe some stock or milk if you want to for the, for the patties, if you're not into beer. So on a bun, we've added some chili mayo, some ketchup, lettuce, one of the cheesy patties, some pickles, tomato, and red onion. And then we close our burger. Voila, it's finished and ready to be eaten. As you can probably already tell from the pictures, it's a hell of a good burger. We can really recommend you to try this out. A bit of a different type of patty than the traditional burger. Really juicy, uh, lots of flavor, um, so a big recommend from us. Maybe even enjoying it with a Heineken beer. Thanks a lot for watching MTB Cooking. We hope you like this video, that you'll subscribe to our channel, uh, give the video a like, and so we'll see you later. Bye.